you know, I'm always looking for color. This is pretty interesting. What type of lettuce is that? That's the Cherokee head lettuce. Oh, I do have some sunflower shoots in the greenhouse. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. So that right on top of the mm -hmm. salmon, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Uh, my name is James Martin. I'm the owner and chef at Gillardi's, even though my chef's coat does say head dishwasher. My name is Melissa Millsap, and I'm co-owner here at Urban Roots Farm. Hey, James. Finally made it. Sorry about that. No, I'm ready to get in the kitchen. Let's do it. Come on in. So you went out with Melissa. Yes. And picked a bunch of gorgeous stuff. So mm -hmm. what are you going to be making? Is we're going to do a wild line caught sockeye salmon. It's going to be set on a bed of quinoa that we're going to saute with that kale and Swiss chard uh, that we found out there in the garden. And then we're going to use the radishes as a raw component to the dish. We'll slice those, have those layered around the outside. I like having raw and cooked food together. So she had the farm in 2009. I purchased Gillardi's uh, that I worked at as a, as a kid when I was 22 years old um, in 2013. And immediately I had this idea of this local food sourcing from urban, you know, from local farms. And Melissa and I had already had a friendship, so I immediately came to Melissa and said, okay, let's start developing a relationship uh, of what you're growing and how seasonality is going to affect my menu and things like that. And I think that's kind of how it just kind of started. It seems to be a worldwide movement of people wanting to know where their food's coming from and things like that. So The local food movement is not just in these big cities. It's something that is very much becoming just part of what it means to eat in America. Absolutely. First and foremost, we talked about seasonality, what is growing. Not having my food force the issue of strawberries in December. And so I'm always going to look for things that are perfectly in season. For example, your root vegetables, uh, we picked out uh, the, the radishes. Those are going to be lovely this time of year. They've got a lot of sugar content to them, and they're, they're just going to taste better in general. Yeah, that's perfect. Those are beautiful. Oh, it tastes so good this time of year, too. To me, my goal is to grow high-quality food right in the place where people live, work, and play. It's really important for us to work with high quality chefs like James as well because we have a lot of the same clientele. And so if they can come here and they can get the fresh food, they can take it home and prepare it in their kitchens, but then they can go to a wonderful restaurant and experience it at a whole different level, it's just a full circle, I think. With restaurants like Gillardi's that can actually be in, in the face of those customers and explaining those seasons to them, they're really doing the work of reaching the community and we're doing the work of talking to the restaurants and saying you know what these three months i can grow you lettuce these three months i'm going to grow you arugula i think one of the biggest things that is driving people to question where their food comes from is the fact that we've gotten so far away of what food is it's our food and it's our water so as a community, we're taking back the power that we have lost over the last couple decades. It's our food, it's our water, it's our community. I do have these wonderful arugula flowers. Let's put these around you here. never see, unless you're gonna go to a farmer's market, you will never see something like an arugula flower available. Okay. That is late spring on a Isn't plate. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Well, Kat, it was really nice to have you into Gillardi's Kitchen. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. It was so fun to see you and Melissa take everything from farm to this kitchen and to the plate, so thank you. You're welcome. It's a weekly endeavor, and I'm very, very excited to see what the next 10 years bring us. Me too. We'll be watching. Thank you, Kat.